So another eBay unboxing. Now I had actually really anticipated this um, particular package. It was an eBay sale that um, somebody had a listing with a make an offer and the opening bid was $10. And I offered $12, pretty much sight unseen. Um, he only had three lousy blurry pictures and a very, very limited description. But I collect antique photographs, um, especially from the um, Victorian era, but more so I like things from the 1860s, 1870s. So hopefully it's what I think it is. For 12 bucks, I figured I'll take a, you know, a chance on it. Now it was pretty tattered in the picture. The uh, album looked like it was falling apart. So, um, I don't, you know, I don't expect much. I mean, for 12 bucks, you know, you're not going to get something pristine and beautiful. The seller really didn't know very, very much about old photographs. So for him to accept the $12 offer, that was pretty much of a bargain for me. Wow, this is pretty thick and pretty big. definitely of the period so this uh, book is circa 1860s 1870s again <laughs> look how tattered it is um, the binding is all busted up um, in the picture he had the pages even out of the album so they fell out and yes <laughs> this has definitely happened now you see some um, old writing in the binding they used to line these books um, the binding of these books with old newspapers and old books so that's quite interesting Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's the backs of some cards. So these are CDV photos, otherwise known as carte de visites. And it looks like it's a Cincinnati, Ohio family. You can see the back of this card. And these pictures are definitely of the period of like 1860, 1870. Sorry, the lighting is really bad right now. Oh, this is a highlight. Okay, this is really, really good, guys, and I'll tell you why. So this stamp is a Civil War era tax stamp. And uh, this is telling me that this was taken during the Civil War. So during the Civil War time, the uh, government had uh, placed taxes on certain luxury items and uh, to help fund the Civil War. So this is actually a three cent stamp and it has a cancel date. Let's see. They would have to cancel it by hand or with a stamp. And I'm trying to figure out what that date says. Um, very, very, very hard for me to make out because I'm looking through the viewfinder of my cell phone right now. I'll check it out later. So our lady here is from the Civil War. Very, very interesting. Again, Cincinnati, Ohio. Very, very cool. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I'm going to actually put this book back together again, and I'll show you the whole entire album. Stay tuned. Introducing the world's worst bookbinder, me. <laughs> well, I used... um archival book tape and uh i didn't do a splendid job if you know what i mean but i got the book back together again so um because i like to keep the original book um with the family i wouldn't want to throw this old book out so here we go yeah <laughs> that's my taping job so this is a really really cool album um most of the pictures are from the civil war just before the civil war and just after so look at this really cool one. This is certainly Civil War time frame. And you can tell by the cartouche going around it. Really, really a lovely, lovely picture. So let me, it's hard to turn the page and show you everything. It just finished raining. And I'm trying my best not to get this book wet in the grass. But the lighting is better than inside the house. Now look at these beautiful, beautiful photos. These are definitely, definitely Civil War. Actually, let me try to take it in better lighting in my yard because the shadows are really getting in the way. Let me turn this way so the sun hits it this way. There we go. So look how cool that is. Really, really, really beautiful images. And again, look at my book binding tape in the center. It's all crooked 
And uh, yeah, I, pretty much it looks like a kindergartner kid did it. Again, we have uh, Civil War era photos. Gorgeous. These are CDV photos, by the way. Now, this one is really, the one on the left looks like a really, really early, early image. I don't know if you can see that. That one could be from the late 1850s um, to the early 1860s. Beautiful, beautiful child. Look at that. And now we have children. I always love to see the children. <laughs> you hear the birds above me? They're angry. Angry birds. And look at that really wild hairstyle. Hang in there one second. I'm trying to get in better lighting. There's a lot of mud in my yard right now. So I'm stepping in mud as we speak and sinking. Really amazing, amazing images here. Now, only one of the photos had that tax stamp on it, and that's a little bit of a bummer, but those tax stamps are pretty rare. You don't see them very often on these old photos. I love these old balloon-shaped dresses or bell-shaped dresses. These are definitely 1860s dresses. And I'm trying to keep my hands steady. It's very hard. I'm actually crouching on my knees right now filming this. And my knees are soaking wet and I'm covered in mud <laughs> from the rainstorm we just had. Look at that great, great early image of American history. Now this is a tintype. So I found one tintype in the album. A really, really great clear image. The one on the right is like an 1870s photo. And I can tell by the, the way the vignette is in the center. And it sounds like my neighbors have their weed whackers out. Oh God, I hate those things. And the leaf blowers. They should be banned. <laughs> they disturb me. Yes, I'm a crotchety old grouch. And these are 1870s photos for sure. Really nice images. And we're getting right to the end of this uh, album. Here's an 1870s photo. And this one looks like an 1880s or 1890s or early 1900s photo. That got in there somehow. Don't know how. And, oops. And again, this one's probably an 1890s photo that snuck in there. Yeah, my bookbinding job is not very good. <laughs> and this, the last photo, is the one with the tax stamp. So this was our 1860s, uh, for sure, Civil War photograph. And there's that lovely, lovely tax stamp. Now, I had put the index that was supposed to be in the front in the back to preserve it because I like the paper. I think it's interesting. I figured it, it's like less handling if it's on the last page. And there we go. Our Civil War era tax stamp. Three cents, um, three cent George Washington stamp. Pretty cool, right guys? All right. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all soon. So long.